Hey Cancer, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for August 2022. We're going to jump right in and see what messages pop out. If this is your reading, Cancer, I do encourage you to show your love and support. If you want a personal tarot reading, all the information are in the description box, okay? I do have a 15% off. Uh, pretty much everything on my Etsy shop. So do take a look. I have tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets. Okay, my readings are also there as well. All right, messages for cancer. Messages for cancer, please. What does cancer need to know? What's happening in their love life? What's coming in? All right, the challenge for you, cancer, is the eight of cups. So some of you, you may be finding that you're walking away from something. I'm seeing the energy of going toward your happiness, whatever that is, your ten of cups, right? So cancer, with the eight of cups in your challenging position, you may be finding yourself quite emotional, um, maybe not feeling satisfied with a situation in your life. So if this is a partnership, right, a love connection with the cups here, it does feel like someone here just isn't making you happy. I feel like there's the energy of like, I'm over it right i'm over it and some of you guys maybe you're really thinking about cutting ties with someone or maybe even energetically you know this can be emotionally or physically walking away so in a recent past cancer we have this eight of pentacles in reverse the sun and the ace of cups in reverse so it does feel like there was a missed opportunity here this could be someone here that you had a relationship with maybe you even have been thinking about going back to this person Perhaps there has been a lot of on and off with this person, okay? It feels like with the sun in the verse, Cancer, in the past, something here was either hidden from you. Maybe you've been feeling unappreciated. It feels you've been in the dark about something, okay? Something here just isn't really giving you that happiness that you want for yourself. So this could be a Leo you're dealing with. I'm also seeing the energy where someone just wasn't contributing the way you need them to, whether they weren't showing up for you, they weren't being attentive to your needs. There could have been some financial problems as well in this relationship in addition to, you know, their ability to make you happy their ability to make you happy um, and love you, okay, the way that you need them to. So there definitely is some issues here. Now, the current energy cancer. Oops, Ten of Wands came out in reverse. We have the judgment. And the Seven of Swords. So this judgment, it feels like this is related to the Eight of Cups. So a lot of you may be literally at a point where you have to make some kind of big decision, some kind of finality. You're having to put your foot down and it could be regarding a situation that, again, isn't making you happy. You need to walk away. Now, this could be someone here who has walked away from you and now you're having to decide what you want for yourself. Okay, what's best for you? There also could be a big decision that you and this person are making together that requires some kind of finality, okay? With the Ten of Wands, it does feel like something's very heavy. Um, it feels like it's burdensome. It's it's heavy as in like maybe emotionally, it's taking a toll on you. It feels like there's a cycle or chapter in your life that you're trying to put in the past, okay? And this could be an event, a situation that's just been very heavily on your mind. And it could be a situation here where the Seven of Swords, someone here has done something untrustworthy where it's like you have to like keep an eye on them, right? Seven of Swords giving the energy of like you don't trust them and so you always have to make sure, you know, you're, you're one step ahead, right? Because the Seven of Swords could be the energy of someone lying or betraying you, deceiving you, going by, behind your back and being sneaky. So maybe this is something that has been done to you, Cancer. And there's the energy of you having to now change things, okay? Do things differently, especially maybe regarding how you treat this person. Now, Cancer, two cards for you. We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card, okay? Um, with the Death card, this could be a Scorpio. There's big, big change happening in your life, in your love life in particular. And it feels like this change could be related to you realizing something here isn't working. And therefore, the Knight of Pentacles in verse, you stop contributing to that. You stop investing in that. Because there's something here that isn't really providing you with the stability that you need, with the security that you need. So with the Death card, it feels like there's uncomfortable change. But it feels like this is necessary. A lot of times, you know, the change that we want in our life comes with discomfort right and so that is something that you may be going through big big changes with regard to a partnership all right let's take a look at what's happening um external to you in the foundation 
We have the King of Swords. So some of you guys, you are in fact dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be someone here who wants to communicate with you. Maybe there's a need to find out answers regarding this person. We do have the Five of Cups here for your person, the Temperance in the Verse and the Page of Cups. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm seeing the energy where someone has been taking their slow time to take action or do something regarding you. It feels like there's an energy where this person has been wanting to speak the truth about a situation, but maybe feeling as if they can't, okay? The Five of Cups could speak about something in the past that they're not proud of, but maybe they haven't really taken accountability for it. There is an apology here that someone wants to extend to you. It feels like someone is acknowledging that I haven't done my best. I've made a mess. Maybe I've caused some kind of damage or hurt. Maybe I really, you know, really disappointed cancer. And it feels like there is some kind of regret or disappointment, regrets, uh, remorse regarding a situation. There's even guilt that they're carrying. And it even feels like with the Ten of Wands, they may be wanting to drop that guilt or get out of a situation here with you. So the Page of Cups, it feels like someone here may certainly want forgiveness, but it feels like it's not coming just yet. The temperance in the verse could be this person very anxious, okay, worried or, you know, I'm getting like a panic, a panicky energy, a panic attack energy where this person doesn't know how to approach you, right? They may be putting off apologizing because with temperance in the verse, you know, it, it's something unsettling, okay, about coming to you to apologize, especially if this person has a difficult time um, telling you that, hey, I was wrong, right? So they may feel it energetically that, wow, I made a mistake, but maybe they're not really ready to express that. So this could be someone who's acting fairly detached and cold, right? That King of Swords energy. They don't like to show much emotions or their vulnerability. But look, coming into the outcome, we do have this beautiful Six of Cups energy, which is known in tarot to be the reconciliation card. So this could definitely mean, Cancer, that there's an opportunity where you could be reunited with someone from the past, a past lover, someone you have heartfelt feelings for. There's definitely some kind of emotional connection and history with this person. Six of Cups can be also you reuniting with someone else from your past. It doesn't have to be like your recent past or the past person that we're talking about right here. It could be someone that you dated very briefly. There's definitely some kind of reuniting with a past lover. All right. We also have the energy of the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy in the Page of Wands. So what's coming in is that there's a new direction you're going in, Cancer. Okay. The Page of Wands, newness, change is exciting. It's Fun. It's adventurous. This could be someone you're connecting with where there's a lot of attraction, a lot of great chemistry. There's someone that you're moving toward and it feels really good. Now with the lovers in reverse, it feels like there's an energy where you may be having to, or let me say this person even, someone may be having to surrender or let go of the need for something to be a certain way, okay? Especially Cancer, if you felt like this is, this is my soulmate, this is my person. It does like there's a reconciliation, but with the lovers in the verse, maybe there is still some kind of delay where you and this person are not coming together as a partnership or as a actual, um, you know, in a relationship. So it does like there's a reconciliation, but it feels like don't put too much pressure on it, okay? Because we have that lovers in the verse. So maybe there's going to be fun and, you know, casually connecting and hanging out, great chemistry, but maybe it's not really going to lead to what you want. So let's get some more answers. Let's jump in and get some more clarity. Cancer, Cancer, messages for Cancer this week of August 2022. This could be uh, to the end of August, of course. Take it resonates, leave the rest. Eight of Cups, crossing the Eight of Cups is a Four of Cups. So someone here may have been complacent. There's the energy of rejection, okay? And that could be the challenge, Cancer. Maybe this person has rejected you or made you feel as if you weren't good enough. You weren't enough for them. That could be something you're struggling with, with the Four of Cups. You know, maybe even feeling like, you know, unappreciated even. There's a lot of disappointment. But the Eight of Cups is really, again, going towards your happiness. And if someone doesn't make you feel like, you know, someone doesn't make you happy even, that could be something you're having to leave behind. And that could be difficult, especially if you really care for someone with all these cups. Now, in a recent past, we have that King of Swords again. So you definitely could be dealing with this energy of the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Someone here that, 
you know, you may have found out something regarding to this person, getting related to this person. There was a falling out of some sort. The full card could be someone wanting a new beginning, wanting to go elsewhere. It even feels like someone was very selfish and only thinking about themselves, their independence. The full card could be the energy of a very immature, like a novice here, where it's like, I want to do what I want to do. I want to travel the world. I don't want to be locked down or chained to someone. It does look like in the past, Cancer, there's something that may have deceived you or took you by surprise. And with the Fool card, it feels like it's related to someone starting a new beginning elsewhere. The Hermit in reverse could be this person going silent or, you know, not spending time with you. You may have felt disconnected from this person. The Hermit could be the energy of this person going quiet. But the hermit can also be like, you know, this person just needing space, right? You know, it, it doesn't mean like this person did it to be, you know, mean or keep you in this place of darkness, right? With the sun in the verse. But it feels like someone here needed time, needed space, wanted to do their own thing. Um, but it feel like it had consequences. It may have put an end to a connection here that you thought was really brewing and finally moving forward with the Ace of Cups in the verse. So something here definitely was a missed opportunity. And it feels like this is someone who put their self first and foremost you know they, they wanted to do what they wanted to do they wanted to go out and not be tied down so give me the energy of the current energy with the judgment we have eight of wands in a verse so there are some major delays especially with regard to communication there also could be like physical blocks maybe you guys are like apart from each other live in different city states maybe even countries there's something that may have been revealed or is in the process of being revealed to you, Cancer. With that high priestess, this could be you really tapped in to your higher self, your intuition. And it feels like you may even be getting downloads regarding someone's deception towards you or their intentions regarding some kind of a situation where they were being very sneaky, right? That seven of swords and a high priestess, they weren't telling you everything. You may be getting information on that. And it looks like with the judgment, you're having to really make a decision, especially at a time when things aren't moving forward with this person. It feels very heavy. It feels like you have to. It feels like you're having to make a decision. I think that's what's prompting this death card. Because a lot of you cancers, you've been holding on to something thinking, oh, this is someone that I'm going to move forward with. I'm going to grow with. They're going to come in and they're going to do the right thing. But it feels like they haven't yet. Give me the Ten of Wands. And there's a big burden that this person has placed on you. The death. And so there's transformation. I feel like a lot of you cancer, you're learning to let go of something and, you know, not put so much pressure on maybe a person or a situation. You may be really taking back your power, living your life. And that's why we have this change coming in, right? We have the death coming out twice. And it's really in your energy cancer, which is telling me that a lot of you are changing the way you love. Okay, maybe you're not wearing your, your heart and your sleeve so much. Maybe you are uh, protecting your heart more. There's some kind of big change regarding your love life. Um, transformation of some sort, okay? The tower. So yeah, Cancer, you may have certainly gone through a tower moment. And it may look like many different things. It could be a situation here in your life that has fallen apart. Something that has been destroyed, crumbled, okay? It feels like it's allowing you to now... Move forward in a new direction. I think that's where the page of wands coming in. But the tower can also be quite destructive in nature. And I think that could be changing your mindset, your view uh, with that death card regarding relationships or people in your life. So I do think a lot of you have been holding back from this person. The Knight of Pentacles in verse could be you taking the attention off or away from this person, spending it on you, focusing on your stability, right? And not rely on this person to give you that. So given the energy of the Five of Cups, this person has a lot of regrets about a situation here regarding you. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in verse, it feels like this person isn't getting the attention from you anymore. They are in the Nine of Pentacles, which means that they are single, maybe, you know, really um, trying to do what they need to do or what they thought they should be doing, which is staying single, making money, thinking about themselves. But it feels like they're not really feeling like victorious in some way, okay? Whether they're not getting attention, maybe their love life feels like it's crumbled. Something isn't going the way they expected it to, and it's related to you. There's some there's an energy here of I haven't been successful in this particular area of my life. And it looks like it is related to love with the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups. I feel like your person expected you to still treat them some kind of way. Tr still treat them with love, with that nurturing energy that you give to other people, Cancer. The Temperance is here, Four Pentacles. 
And it looks to me like a lot of you, you may be guarded. You guys may be very guarded toward each other. But it also feels like there's something about this person wanting to hold on to something that is of value to them. And certainly they may look at you, Cancer, as being of value. Because there is still love here. And they may be trying to certainly move past an energy of some kind of ending with you, right? Ten of swords, where they may have sabotaged this. They may have blindsided you, betrayed you. There is an ending of some sort that your person is putting off. And it feels like with the four pentacles, that could be also the reason why this person hasn't been communicating or been holding back because they certainly has caused this ending and they may be feeling the guilt from it so i really feel like this person wants to apologize the six of cups is telling me you will be coming together with someone uh nine of wands in a verse could be someone that you gave up on with the nine of wands in a verse that you completely decided you know what that's not for me anymore i don't want to put any more energy and effort into but it does feel like there is something coming in very slow and steady with the knight of pentacles someone here it could be an earth sign taurus Virgo, capricorn maybe certainly presenting you with some kind of offer of stability maybe wanting to also work on rebuilding this friendship connection partnership knight of pentacles again it's it's slow but it is something durable it is something that will and can last a long time so with the four of swords in the verse and the page of wands i feel like someone is very nervous to, to reach out to you but the page of wands is definitely suggesting there is some kind of passionate exchange of communication coming in and it's it's again it's eight they're anxious they're worried i feel like part of it is them being stressed about how you're going to respond um maybe even feeling like you're going to say no like you're going to reject them because that that could be what they've done to you in the past. But there's definitely some kind of movement or change and shift in your love life coming in. So Cancer, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. All right, you guys, take care.